Majesties, Louis, King by right of arms of the Middle Kingdom, and Sive, our Queen of War and Song. Inviting to their court, their excellencies Pietro and Aurelia, Baron and Baroness of the Cleflands. Their Majesties invite into their court the assembled ter territorial baronage of the Middle Kingdom. Here opens the court of Louis and Sai, King and Queen of the Middle Kingdom, on this 28th day of May, Auto Societatis 58, in their barony of the Cleflands. Welcome, everybody. We had a fantastic crown tournament today. We have heirs. <laughs> their Majesties call forth, Sir Wing Tang the Younger, present yourselves before their Majesties. victory in today's crown list, you have shown yourself to be of high metal and worthy of the title of Tanist, which is borne by our heir of our kingdom. Is it your desire to assume the title and responsibilities of Tanist, and when the proper time should come, to rightfully succeed us upon the dragon throne? Yes.
rewarding fealty with love, valor with honor, and an oath breaking with vengeance. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Majesty. I here swear fealty and due honor to the crown of the Middle Kingdom, to uphold the laws and customs of the Midrealm, and to serve where served by might. shall never forget, nor fail to reward that which is given. Fealty with love, service with honor, and oath-breaking with justice. Their Majesty's call before them, Sir Severed Brumbach. Severed, you have traveled far and wide with me and supported me as we were heirs and I would like it if you would be my champion. I here swear fealty and do homage to the crown of the Middle Kingdom to ever be a good knight and true. Reverend and generous, shield of the weak, obedient to my liege lord. <laughs> Foremost in battle, courteous at all times, champion of the right and the good. Thus swear I, Sir Seafried Brumbach. This do we hear and shall never forget, nor and to be your liege lord. Rewarding service with love, valor with honor, and oath breaking with vengeance. The crown calls before them. Sorsha, Dragon Signet. Sorsha, what would you have of us? See, Your Majesties, I have been your Dragon Signet for a while. <laughs> and I believe it is time for that position to be passed to somebody else. One last service we would ask of you. Would you suggest to the crown a successor? I would. <clears throat> Their Majesties summoned before them Dame Helena Sibylla. Helena, do you swear to attest to carry out the duties of Dragon Signet? To serve well and faithfully the scribal needs of the realm, to guide the scholarship in support of the scribes of the Middle Kingdom, bring forth the regalia of the office. that you stand as a symbol of the crown, the kingdom, and the society. Acquit yourself accordingly. Now swear your oath of office. I here swear fealty and service to the crown of the middle kingdom. Well and loyally administer the office <coughs> and give wise counsel to the crown. Abilities. Let's where I tell Miss Abilities. This do we hear and shall never forget, nor fail to reward that which is given. Fealty with love, service with honor, and oath breaking with justice. For Dame Sorsha and Dame Helena, huzzah! Huzzah! Their Majesties call before them. Xavier, Baron Xavier of, of Ramsey, riot to the heavens and earth so that all may know that we, Louis, mighty king of the mid-realm, and Sive, our queen of war and song, have heard praise of the unparalleled, un unparalleled enthusiasm of the Arts Marshal of Xavier of Ramsey and his service to the College of St. Brutus, especially his teaching of new fighters. 
We are well pleased and wish to bestow upon him an award of arms. We grant him the right to bear arms within the society and all rights and responsibilities attendant upon this rank. For Baron Lord Xavier, huzzah! <laughs> Their Majesties now call before them Leofric of Osprey. Pray let it all let all know that we, Louis, King by right of arms of the Middle Kingdom, and Sive do recognize the exemplary service of Leofric of Osprey, have given freely unto the Middle Kingdom for teaching and helping and educating. We do here publicly commend him and are pleased to bestow upon him the award of the Purple Fret. For Lord Leofric, huzzah! huzzah! Their Majesties call before them Her Grace and Lise Van, Van Gevier. To all and singular unto whom, the, whom these presents may come, know that we, Louis, King by right of the arm, arms of the Middle Kingdom, and Sive, our gracious Queen of War and Song, would fain honor. Annalise Van Gevier for her superior skill in archery and service to the archer corps of the Middle Kingdom, particularly her skill with the crossbow and welcoming new archers. Therefore, we are minded to create them a companion of the Order of the Dragon's Barb. Their Majesties. Thank you. Their Majesties. 
Majesty summoned before them Armature Reina Storata Ulf's daughter. Attend and behold Louis, king by right of arms, fearless and fearsome, and Scythe, queen of war and song, murderous and melodious. <laughs> Mindful of the time, labor, love, and exceptional service that Reina Storata Ulf's daughter hath freely and faithfully given to our kingdom and the barony of Clefland's. Do we make unto her a companion of the Order of the Dragon's Heart? For she is the beating heart of the dragon. So apparently, you kind of do it all. <laughs> Fight, defense, all the kinds of heraldry. Uh, and especially, from what I hear, every single minion who has a registered name or arms is because they went through you. Yep. For the Honorable Armager Reina, huzzah! Huzzah! Their Majesties summoned before them, John Roslin of Ox, see, read, and hear, and know our presence, that we, King Louis, by right of arms of the Middle Kingdom, and Sive, our Queen of War and Song, are mindful of time, labor, and love that John Roslin the Ox hath freely given unto the Middle Kingdom, especially for service to the kingdom above and beyond, and are minded to make him a companion of our Order of the Dragon's Heart. society's mission to enlighten everybody and keep the society going. At some point, somebody has to take that step. Whether it's becoming a seneschal, exchequer, herald, or whatever, that's a step up bring the society forward. There are those that did much, like our new heirs, that fought in the tournament to continue that 
recognition. Now, what happens after it's all over? It's kind of interesting because sometimes they fade into the distance. They're there, but what are they doing? They're not in front of you all the time. You don't see them in front of everybody every time. But there are those that go beyond the call of duty because they love to serve. Serve the kingdom and the society. And they give their best every day, whether it's on the SCA field or real life. Some of those, when they step back, as I said, you don't hear of them very, very much. Why? Because now their dinner plate is now slopping over because they're still cons Yeah, somebody's giggling. <laughs> yep, you know, because their plate is now slopping over. You don't see it, but the society sees it because they're continuing to serve and enhance what we have call at times the game. There is one that has, is still doing over and above everything you would expect. His plate not only slops over, he has a basket underneath to catch the leftovers. <laughs> and with that, uh, there's only one thing I can say. Your Majesty, I beg a boo. Ask if it is within our power and a right and proper thing, it shall be yours. At this time, I would like to elevate, have you elevate, Duke Uller Amundsen to the Order of the Pelican. <laughs> and mistresses of the pelican. Noble lords and ladies, is it your opinion that Uller Amaranthson is worthy of elevation into the order of the pelican? No, Aye! Aye! Call for it. Uller Amaranthson, Duke of the Society, present yourself before their majesties.
Falcon people. And you know, if you wandered into his camp at Penzing, he would greet you with food and drink. I had a woodworking tool. <laughs>
rocks community. He creates family. Enough that some of us will travel great distances. <laughs> or their ability to accomplish great things while making their labor look effortless. And Uller certainly possesses this quality. He has effected positive change across our kingdom through his work, his wisdom, and his wise assery. <laughs> <laughs> Much of it behind the scenes and unnoticed by most. However, when I think of Uller's service, the word that comes to mind is given. I have rarely met anyone as giving as this man. Giving of his time, his advice, his craft, his joy. He has given uncountable hours to our kingdom and our society. Through his three reigns, through his time as Kingdom Earl Marshal, Special Deputy to the Kingdom Seneschal, through his dedication to teaching the arts of combat and carving, and through his willingness to listen and give sage advice to anyone who would seek it. His service clearly shows his relentless dedication to, as he puts it, just being a good peer. But his work and dedication go far beyond what most peers do. His influence and renown reach across our kingdom and far beyond its borders, making our society a better, safer, and more joyous experience for many. Your Majesties, His Grace is a most deserving addition to your Order of the Pelican and I am honored to recommend him to you. Huzzah! 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 Huzz
serve the crown in all things. Remember courtesy and kindness. Prize justice above personal gain. To labor for the common good. To enrich the kingdom and the society so they may flourish and grow. And to be worthy of the title pelican. Here by my honor, my hand, and my heart, I swear. This do we hear and shall never forget, nor fail to reward that which is given. Fealty with love, service with honor, and oath breaking with vengeance. Spear keeper, seeing a steady servant, faithful friend, aid bringer for all, giver of guidance. For us, the favor, words needs patience, tried and true, strength and support in the stark times, beacons ablaze. One mid-realm, hand of Louis, and voice of Scythe. Siege. There she is. 
Uh, Orn is going to be out there for throwing weapons. Yeah. He's here. There he is. Thank you very much, everyone, because I couldn't do my job without you guys. And you know what? None of us would have our fun without all of you just showing up and doing the stuff. All the stuff. And that is what I'm excited about. I'm hoping to see all of you there, and I'm going to be all over the place seeing what everybody's doing. Whether it's rapier, armor, a &S, I'm going to come and watch. Archery, I'm coming and doing it because of you guys. Are you with me? Yeah! One mid-realm! One mid-realm! That's what I'm excited about. Thank you. Draco! Thank you very much for attending both Kingdom a &S and Crown on the frontier of Midrealm. I believe I can see Aethelmark from here. <laughs> this was a wonderful weekend, a wonderful event, and a thank you all for coming to Cleflin and to the frontier of the Midrealm. We now have heirs. And I would also like to invite all of you to Northern Oaken War Maneuvers in two weeks. After this weekend, it feels like a small event. <laughs> uh, but I do expect that we will have many melees and practices there for everyone, as well as many more fun and memorable times. And then I look forward to seeing you at Penzik. Thank you. First off, I just want to say thank you to everyone here. This has been a great event for us. I want to say thank you to their excellencies for hosting such a wonderful event. This is the far corner of the mid realm. Uh, it's close for me, but I know it was a far trip for many of you. 600 plus miles for some of you. Some people in my even seen a tornado or two coming here. <laughs> but for me, Crown Tournament is phenomenal. I love coming. My second event in the SCA was a Crown Tournament. So I love the pageantry. I love the tournament. I love the people that show up. I was here yesterday. I saw some beautiful a &S. I saw some wonderful people out here talking and just having fun. I'm thankful to see people here, both old and young. I have children, we have children. We are gonna be bringing our children and I love to see children around here enjoying the SCA because that's the future of the SCA. Huzzah. Huzzah. So thank you all, thank you your majesties, and look forward to a great, wonderful war and then what comes after that. <laughs> Draco! Thank you, everybody. Um, I mean, this has been a fantastic weekend. We got to do lots of bardic last night. We had a barbecue together. We got to spend some time with our friends all weekend. It's been truly fantastic. We had a great crown tournament. We're real excited. Uh, in the middle of Crown Tournament, you may have noticed we injected some entertainment, some halftime show. It was fun. Uh, and now, for the end of court, we would all like to sing together. So hopefully you all still have your song sheets from yesterday. Maybe. Also, thank you all for... General? Thank you all for the helping out with the bake sale, everybody who helped with that, everybody who consumed some of that. Um, thank you for the silent auction, everybody who participated and, and won some items to bring home. We have a couple weeks left uh, that we can register for Penzit. Very few. Very few. Do it quickly.